Live. Oh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> selamat pagi, eh kok pagi sih? Iya selamat pagi dari Paris. Di sini baru jam 11 pagi. Uh, iya 11.02. Apa kabar Jakarta ya? Jakarta apa kabar Indonesia? Hai, halo ada, aduh ada Didit. Hmm. Halo dari Kupang. Ha, oke. Okay. Jadi kita sekarang um, selamat datang di live di IG live. Aku jarang banget ya live ya. Dan um, uh, Mbak Anggun greeting dari Bandung. Halo Bandung. <laughs> Uh, oh dari Palu Ya itu dia Kita bentar lagi mau ngomongin tentang Palu Jadi begini Hari ini, pagi ini Di Paris uh, uh, Aku mau ngobrol Dengan Bapak Presiden Direkturnya Pan, uh, PNG Indonesia Namanya Pak LV Vaidyanatan uh, Tapi Uh, apa namanya uh, uh, percakapannya akan dengan bahasa Inggris jadi uh, ini untuk follow up uh, tentang uh, yang konser charity yang yang dulu yang yang setahun yang lalu aku bikin di Jakarta dan uh, aku pengen tahu gimana sih sekarang soalnya kan waktu itu um, orang uh, um, waktu itu konser yang kita bikin semua hasil dari penjualan tiketnya disumbangkan untuk mem, mem, membantu uh, edukasi di Indonesia Kecual, uh, terutama di Palu dan Donggala yang waktu itu sangat ter, uh, tertimba uh, apa ada tsunami ada 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 gempa ada bencana alam jadi jadi sekarang saya cuma mau follow, aduh sambil baca Makasih ya, makasih semua Mince, je suis français, bah oui, Indonesian, iya Aneh enggak sih setiap kali kalau aku ngomong atau bikin posting di Instagram dengan bahasa Perancis yang protes orang Indonesia <laughs> Kalau aku nulis pakai, uh, bikin posting pakai bahasa Inggris diprotes sama orang Perancis dan orang Indonesia dan kalau uh, posting dengan bahasa Indonesia eh, diprotes de oleh orang uh, Perancis dan yang lain-lain nggak ada yang seneng oke okay, so ini gimana ya go live oh Pak Elvinya sudah datang oke okay, let's go live Pak Elvi, nungguin Pak Elvi. Oh hi. Hello. Good to see you, Anggun. Good to see you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's it's um. So I have just I had just started the live and I have been talking to myself. It's a bit weird. It's an exercise that I'm not really <laughs> fond of. So it's nice to have you. So, um, what time is it? It is like five o'clock in Jakarta. You're in Jakarta, right? That's right. I'm in a coffee shop close to my house. Unfortunately, oh. there's no one here, so I just decided to just, you know, sit and uh, do this chat in a in a coffee shop. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> so, so the shops are still kind of open in 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 Jakarta. Yeah, the shops are open, but there is the traffic is very, very low. So people are still pretty skeptical about getting out and right and be yeah. Well, here it's um, it's a bit sad because we're on our second lockdown. So shops are are closed. Like un, you know, there you can only find um, supermarket, but only small ones and uh, pharmacies. Uh, other than that, you know, restaurants or shop uh, are closed. So schools are open, though. 
Oh, okay. That's it's a it's a very different one. We've also gone through two phases of lockdown, uh, yeah. but the schools have been closed now for a good nine months now. So. Oh yeah, that that's that that must be really really hard. So let let's get on with it. So I'm I'm I was just telling the uh, the viewers that um that I'm going to talk to you about. Well, especially it's been a year now since I've seen you. Uh, you know, since the concert that I did in Jakarta. I, I actually want to thank you for for that because I think it it really started this this movement. We got a lot of participation for that, and we raised quite a bit of uh, quite a good amount of money to rebuild yeah. schools in uh, in Palu and Dongala. Yeah, I was I was extremely um, actually you, you know above everything else. I'm I'm I. Uh, I put our partnership very close to my heart. Uh, for me, PNG is not just a brand um, family that I endorse, but but it's um, it's a partnership. It's like a marriage, really. I mean, I've been we've been in this. Uh, I mean, I've been with the with the PNG family since twelve years. So it's um, it's it's very important to me. And then knowing that PNG has allowed me to. Um, to do the concert and then to have actually to have the benefit of the concert to actually give to give away to to um to give it back to those who are in need and it's uh thank you for that opportunity really no i'd like to thank you again first of all as you rightly said at 12 years it's been you uh, uh have been we've been working together on our biggest brand and it's it's one of the most loved brands in uh, in Indonesia in actually Indonesia, one in, yeah. yeah one in every two households actually use pantene and you have been endorsing that for the last <laughs> more than 12 years now so so thank you for that uh, but no, more importantly I mean, my hair needs it <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, I think it's uh, we've been here for about thirty years, and we always, uh, you know, in whichever country we go, we try to be a first a force for good, and then a force for growth, you know. And yeah. for us, there was no better way to celebrate a thirty our thirty years than to work with children. And you know, I mean, we we had done some work when the when the tsunami had struck Palu and Dongala. But we always felt that you know it's the rebuilding which takes a lot of commitment, and this is where we went back again. Uh, actually, it's almost it's just just a year exactly to the date that we went with about thirty volunteers there. Uh, and I mean, I have to tell you the story. If you go into those schools, the schools actually don't even have more than fifty percent of the room in which they are don't even have a wall. You know, it's that kind of a place where it's students like are. It's, it's just like it's just a few thing? few desks a few desks there's a roof and the rest of the pla- rest of it is just plastered with with paper and that kind of uh, environment there and that's where they were learning uh, you know wow. and uh, it was a, it was a moving i have to say i've been here for more than two and a half years those three days that i spent in palu and dongala really moved me you know the, the kind of devastation that nature can wreak on these uh, on, on 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 the society Uh, but again you know i think we worked this uh, thanks to you you know we've been we were able to raise the money we've been able to actually work with 100 more than 100 schools unfortunately they're not yet open uh, and hopefully yeah. they will uh, the one thing which we have also done is to actually create washing stations uh, so that and and washing people can you know once yeah once they come back okay. they can they can use uh, yeah, there's a lot more focus on hygiene as well so once again thanks a lot uh, and good no, we could have not done this without your without your support no i'm i'm really honored to uh, again that 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 png had allowed me to do this but uh, you know mostly i thank also the people who who bought tickets for the concert and thanks to them we are able to finance all this uh, school buildings and i really wish that could be there and you know see it with my own eyes because i've only seen the videos that uh you guys sent me um and i've seen the kids how how they were you know extremely happy to actually have some kind of structure and uh and and the fact that they can learn again that's that's probably the most important uh part because as we all know you know kids need 
to have their time the well kids need education but they also need to have their social life it's 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 we are we are social beings so we need to have interaction with others and the fact that um uh what happened in life deprived them from from having that it really breaks my heart so uh so what's the next step now because um you said that you you uh, we've been uh, you've been working to build about a uh, 100 schools yeah we have been able to work about 100 schools is what we have uh, worked on uh, and we will close this by december so about year and a half that we have worked and rebuilding these schools the impacts roughly about 3000 or uh, students uh, but our you know our partnership with save the children and yeah. our commitment to the cause of uh, helping children uh, continues to remain uh, you know we have been working with save the children even in west java for even much before this as well so one of the things that we have been doing is work in schools to make those schools inclusive for uh, for children especially one of the things that we see in many schools is that they're not very friendly when it comes to keeping girls in their schools and you know that kind of causes more dropouts of girls in these schools and so we've been working that over the last many years uh, but what we have now seen is sorry, i'm sorry, sorry they're not very friendly with girls no friend What? the learning environment is not very friendly for for girls uh, you know uh, so you know simple things like i mean you don't have hygiene facilities uh, for girls yeah, yeah, and yeah. so on and so forth so and, and and you know so so we've been we've been working with the schools we've been working with their parents and we've also been working with the government to retain the girls in the school uh, by providing better learning environments uh, but but again what has now happened is that with the with the pandemic uh, obviously the economic impact has been huge yeah. so families expect you know children to actually supplement the income so the risk of dropouts is yes. yeah risk of dropouts is is very high we estimate that it will be more than a million children between 13 and 15 who oh, drop out of school you know so, yeah. so well actually it's kind of similar in france as well um uh, i mean i just found that out that actually uh, school dropouts uh, ever since the first lockdown are actually a real issue is about and it's also concern more girls than boys about 20% um of uh, of 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 students in france they 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 can't go to school due to economic uh challenges so it's uh, it's really uh, we really i mean i um i mean this is france you know school is yeah. mandatory and uh but because a lot of people are you know they 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 the families they lost jobs and so they 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 can't really just have everything and uh, at hand and then they rather have the kids at home and i don't know it's just it's it's really it's it's really breaking my heart and um especially again um education is uh, every child's right um and so uh whatever whatever it is that we can help to promote education and to keep children at school um um I'm really up for it <laughs> yeah we just launched this initiative called compact uh, again partnering with save the children uh, so what this is was that? what is that compact so again what we found was because of the pandemic you know and the risk of school dropouts there is one is of course the economic side of it the other one is teachers are finding it hard to uh work in this new environment of teaching and keeping students engaged in in a virtual environment right so yeah. uh, so that's becoming a challenge as well so compact essentially is a volunteering program from it's the largest volunteering program that we've had png and we first batch we've got about 100 volunteers uh who are working with parents and with teachers uh to address these issues that is being faced right now you know whether it is digital divide or whether it is reinforcing the importance of education even in tough times and so on and so forth yeah compact that's nice okay so um i'm actually again it's uh, for me to hear all this it, it gives me a lot of good hope 
But at the same time, I'm a little bit frustrated because I'm not there. Because I really would love to be physically involved in this. And, um, and uh, thank you. Thank you for, you know, uh, PNG. Thank you for Save the Children. Uh, I know that uh, they're, they're, they're really committed in, um, in, in this program as well. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I know that we're, uh, we're trying to save one child at a time you know trying to erect one school at a time so it's um it's 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 really it's bringing a lot of good hope you know so um i guess now we can i don't know should we uh, um should we get some questions from people from yeah, absolutely. you up for it um let me see <clears throat> is there some questions yeah, yeah. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> They're just, just saying hello <laughs> for now. But, um, oh, yeah, I have a question for you. Actually, can people like um, outside of uh, Safe Children or, or, or PNG, can they actually volunteer? Yeah, uh, actually, first, I, I wanted to, okay, once again, thank you, uh, Angun, for both our long association and a large heart that you have to, you know, work on these causes. It goes beyond just the brand, endorsing the brand, but also, you know, how to yeah. be a force, force for good. Uh, I'm sure at some point in time, things will be better. And I'm sure I'm looking forward to, you, you know, hosting you here and we all looking forward to that and hoping to stake you to some of the places where we do this work uh, along with Save the Children. The second is I do want to, it, it is a shout out to, uh, save the children as well. Despite the pandemic, you know, their commitment to helping the children, saving the children one child at a time, as you rightly said, continues to be unwavering, you know, and that's an organization which has been there for more than 100 years. Now, coming to your question on can others come and volunteer? Absolutely. The more hands we can get, the better it is. It's just that we've just started this, the process of uh, the, the volunteering, the virtual volunteering, and, yeah, and talking to, you know, mentoring both parents and teachers uh, as we finish the first wave i guess we will have you know more learnings on how we can do this and then we will come back to kind of share what the second wave looks like and, and so forth but you know anyone who is interested we will need we will need the volunteers uh, to uh, yeah. to help the crisis at this point in time we always need a pair of hands another pair of hands absolutely a large heart and a pair of hands yeah <laughs> exactly <laughs> So, but where can they actually check on that information? Where to, um, should they go to a PNG uh, or Save the Children website or anything to get some kind of information on where to volunteer? Yeah, we can actually, uh, please, uh, please do direct them to us <laughs> and we will, you know, we will take all of that with, from PNG side and then we'll work that with Save the Children. Okay, wonderful. So I think I saw some questions um, about the next program. So that would be the next program, Compact, right? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> and I also, um, if they could, uh, some people saying hi from, from, from Palu. Oh, some people would like to volunteer. So there you go. PNG Open Volunteer, yes, of course, because some people actually have already worked with uh, children um, during this traumatic time. Um, and I, ah, there's the, the, there are also people who asked um, if, if we're about to hold another charity concert. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I mean, I miss singing, I miss doing concerts, but obviously uh, right now it's, 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 it's just super complicated to do anything. But um, yeah, as soon as we can do something, we can, we can travel again or then yes, I would love to. No, we'd love to partner once again, uh, Angun, which is, I guess we'll just look for better times when we can do something uh, together. Uh, the virtual one is a bit difficult, but you know, I'm sure we can we can help, and we can partner together. In, uh, in, yeah. in, I don't think it is just a one-off thing. I think this cause 
will continue to remain and it's it will be a wonderful partnership we really look forward to it maybe we can also do uh, outside of jakarta you know with some Absolutely. hotels where it's uh, oh somebody said my hair looks good yes thank you <laughs> <laughs> well um is there any uh, ah we there's also some questions about uh, how are we holding on during this pandemic how you being the being the president of of png in indonesia how how have you been you know dealing with that big company and working from home it must i have guess yeah. i think it'd be good for i'm good for you to actually share how you've been doing over the last 7 uh, 8 months i think uh, and then i'll share you know what we are doing as a company well i guess that'd be far more, your 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 story will be far more interesting than ours for sure <laughs> no, no 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 because because my my life compared to uh, i mean it's just basically everything is slows down you know yeah. we were um for me it's just really about taking my time now enjoying my time I've never had any time to do anything or just to catch up with sleep even some time or reading books or watching movies and and now I find myself doing all that and plus you know with the bonus of spending time with my family with my husband and daughter so that's that's uh it it, it has it's um that's the highlights for me I mean I can only see it from the positive side but other than that of course the i miss i miss traveling i miss singing i miss seeing my fans and uh, i miss all, i miss all aspects of my work but you you have to work every day from home and 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 uh, must be challenging as well yeah it's uh, it's been tough i i have to be honest on this one i think it's now a good 9 months or coming close to it uh we have uh, uh, we had three priorities essentially the first one is to keep our people safe uh i think we've done a reasonably good job at that uh, because we've ensured that you know the health and safety protocols are well maintained in places where we where people need to come so that's that's number one and also provided them the education that's needed to make sure that people continue to stay safe and stay healthy so that's been the first priority the second one is as i said you know uh, png brands like pantene which which you have been endorsing are 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 loved ones and they are they are basically needed by the consumer so you know so we've had to keep our, our production facility going uh, and we've made sure that again you know our products are available uh, for for our, for the consumer so that's been our second priority the third one is that we have worked with the community as well so one of the things that we did was to partner with ministry of health and indonesian doctors association uh, at the time when because the frontline workers were seriously in need of uh, personal protective equipment and at that time it, this was around march april uh, and it was difficult to get these uh, uh, these uh, gears uh, yeah. the good news again was that we had access to suppliers in china who could provide that so ah. we were amongst some of the first companies to actually uh, help uh, ministry of health but of course we've now had many companies come forward uh, to help the frontline workers and I, i i just my heart goes out to them because it's a it is a serious uh, you know serious risk that they are taking to help uh, the patients at this point in time so it's it's uh, they are really the unsung heroes if you will in the last 8 9 months yeah but um again i think in this um in this tough time everything that we can do to kind of help build uh or, or or just to be a moral support for each other it's it's really the time where we have to check on each other i think um uh, if if we personally can't do that with uh, the world uh, with the world we can we we have to be able to do that with the world that surrounds us you know starting with our own family neighbors or or just those who are close to us i think it's it's really um i have the feeling that we are going to change i mean we are changing already mentalities and uh we're kinder i mean i meet now you know that that parisians are not known for being extremely polite or extremely <laughs> warm hearted 
But now I feel like uh, people are more into one another. They, 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 they open their eyes more. They, uh, uh, I don't know, I guess they're more caring now because it's, it's, it's nice to know that we're not alone. Uh, that when you go outside, everyone wears masks. masks. And, and, and it's just that life now uh, with, the, with this new type of normalcy and it's, it's, um, we're getting used to it. I don't know for how long. Um, I'm still hoping that things will go back to normal or how it was before, but gradually uh, we have all this good news about uh, uh, vaccines being tested, being found. And so, yeah, but in the meantime, I think what we can do is really to check on one another and try to see where we can help or, you know, all that. So, um, well, uh, again, you know, with partner, with, with a huge partner like uh, such as yourself and your, your, your company, it's um, uh, certainly, it's, uh, we can, I think we can make a lot of beautiful things together and, and, uh, and give back. To, uh, to other people, just, um, it's, it's again, the, the charity concert last year. I think we, uh, 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 it, the, the benefit was about 300,000. I'm still, I, I still can't wrap my head around it and it's just outpouring, you know, gratitude. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, thanking the fans for that and thanking PNG to make all this happen and, uh, uh, where we're changing lives of a lot of people and for that I'll forever be grateful and anytime you need me to contribute to anything I'm, I'm here you know again thank you thank you once again I'm going to think you know again uh, the, the, the more I think about it about what we have been able to do together the magic that we've been able to create to help, yeah. touch and improve uh, lives of children I think uh, I, I, it gives me goosebumps on <clears throat> the, you know, what we have been able to do. So I want to thank you for that. But I, I will take you up on the offer on, uh, you know, continuing to help and being a force for yes. good. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I think there is there's a lot to be done uh, in Indonesia. And 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 um, really, on on a personal level, I wanted to thank you again for the fact that you're working in Indonesia and you're, you're, you're doing good for Indonesian people uh, with, uh, with this, with Palu Dongala. And, and, and it's just, again, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you once again. Uh, All right. So I think we should wrap this up. And um, I want to thank everyone who joined us. Much love. Oh, I see a lot of hearts. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, uh, thank you, LV. I hope, uh, hopefully, we're going to see each other soon, sometimes next year, mid I'll, next year. <laughs> yeah. I look forward to it. I'm going to uh, do stay safe and healthy. And, you too. Uh, you too. Continue your great work that you you've always been doing. Uh, thank you, thank you, and and please send my regards to your wife that I met in Jakarta. Well, Thank bye. you. Yeah, I will. I'll do that for sure. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye, bye. everyone. Bye, LB. Thank bye. you again. Bye. Thank you. Bye.